Good morning. Good morning, Father. I welcome you to this Eucharistic celebration. May we remind ourselves of our intentions, asking God for His love and favor in our lives. In a special way, also, we pray for the intentions of Connie Zones, Linda Sattler, Maria Bui, John Baptist, Carl Hearn, Mary Bushview, Tiata and Eden, and the family of Seriana, Hunter, and Grimley. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. My brothers and sisters, to be worthy to celebrate this Eucharist, let us call to mind our sins, asking God for forgiveness and mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, grant that we may always conform our will to yours and serve your majesty in sincerity of heart. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Please be seated. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. Brothers and sisters, if you are guided by the Spirit, you are not under the law. Now the works of the flesh are obvious. Immoral, immorality, impurity, licentiousness, idolatry, sorcery, hatreds, rivalry, jealousy, outbursts of fury, acts of selfishness, dissensions, factions, occasions of envy, drinking bouts, orgies, and the like. I warn you, as I warned you before, that those who do such things will not inherit the kingdom of God. In contrast, the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, generosity, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against such, there is no law. Now those who belong to Christ Jesus have crucified their flesh with its passions and desires. If we live in the Spirit, let us also follow the Spirit. The Word of the Lord. Responsorial Psalm. Those who follow you, Lord, will have the light of life. Those who follow you, Lord, will have the life of life. Blessed the man who follows not the counsel of the wicked, nor walks in the way of sinners, nor sits in the company of the insolent, but delights in the law of the Lord and meditates on his law day and night. Those who follow you, Lord, will have the life of life. He is like a tree planted near running water that yields its fruit in due season and whose leaves never fade. Whatever he does prospers. Those who follow you, Lord, will have the life of life. Not so, the wicked, not so. They are like chaff which the wind drives away. For the Lord watches over the way of the just, but the way of the wicked vanishes. Those who follow you, Lord, will have the light of life. Alleluia, alleluia. Follow me. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Luke. Glory to 
the Lord said, Woe to you, Pharisees! You pay tithes of mint and of rue, and of every garden herb, but you pay no attention to judgment and to love of God. This you should have done without overlooking the others. Woe to you, Pharisees! You love the seat of honor in synagogues and greetings in marketplaces. Woe to you! You like you are like unseen graves over which people unknowingly walk. Then one of the scholars of the law said to him in reply, Teacher, by saying this, you are insulting us too. And he said, Woe also to you, scholars of the law. You impose on people burdens hard to carry, but you yourself do not lift one finger to touch them. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. In the first reading, St. Paul talked about vice and virtue. And there is nothing wrong with vice or virtue. One you avoid, one you inculcate, or you learn, or you practice. And in the Gospel, Jesus said to the Pharisees and the scholars of the law, You are so much concerned, interested about the vice. You don't want to hurt anybody. You, want, you don't want to do anything that is wrong. But what about the virtue? What do you think about it? And he said, you don't practice it. You don't think about love. You are so much interested about, do not do this, do not do this. And I said to you, in that letter of St. Paul, we must concern ourselves about virtue. Forget about hatred, those who hate you and those who you hate. Talk first about love. Talk first about simplicity, about humility. He called it the spirit, the spirit, the fruit of the spirit, joy, peace, patience, kindness, generosity, faithfulness, and so on and so forth. So don't worry yourself so much about hatred, selfishness, dissension, faction, objection of rivalry, insult. We are trying to avoid that. Yeah, Jesus said, you do this, not neglecting the other. But concern yourself, first of all, about the virtue. How do I inculcate the virtue? How should I practice the virtue? What should I do so that the virtue of Christ in me should manifest? Whenever you are so particular about the law, you will misunderstand the spirit of the law. Like St. Paul said, the spirit, the spirit. When somebody said, do not fight, the spirit of the law doesn't necessarily mean physical fight. He is trying to say, do not do something that will harm the body or the spirit. So, in other words, our attention, our desire, our plan should be towards the fruit of the Spirit. Let us talk about the virtue, the good things we can do. The bad things are there, but they should not be the optimum discussion. If you go to the bad things, and you learn all the bad things, and you learn how to avoid them, you do not do this, you do not do this. You do not do this. 
like the teachings of Christ, Christ said the Ten Commandments that would I ask you, the scholars of the law, what do you do? What do you do? How do you practice love? How do you practice patience? How do you practice humility? So that's the same question we are facing today. People are so much interested on what is the problem? Why is he fighting? Uh, he's a black man. He said that because he's white. He is from Mexico. or oh, he's an Asian. Nobody is talking about the principles of love, the principles of freedom, which inculcate black, white, brown. But they are interested. He broke the law. He said it the wrong way. He didn't do what is right. By the time you finish explaining and counter explaining the vice in your life, there will be no time for the virtue. And we have minimum time to stay. If you stay up to 80 years, thank your God. If you stay up to 100 years, you are a saint. But 40, 50, 60, you sit down and people say, get up. And <laughs> Uh, you go to the doctor, 55 years, I couldn't see clearly, glasses, I couldn't walk well, clutches. You are dying gradually. So you will not spend this little time thinking about vice. Start with love, enjoy the life, simplicity, patience, freedom. It will not be very far and everybody will go. So that you go in love also, like St. Paul said, the kingdom is for you, is for me. In virtue, we will inherit the kingdom. Please stand. As we continue to pray for our school, St. Justin, as they resumed yesterday, we keep their teachers, students, and parents in our prayers. We pray also for Connie Zones, Linda Sattler, Maria Bui, John Baptist, Carl Hahn, Mary Bishview, Theota, and Eden, and the families of Seriana, Hunter, and Grimley. And all those who requested for our prayers, especially our brothers and sisters in this community who are going through hard times, those who are sick, who will visit the doctors for surgery, God, in your mercy, continue to guide and protect them. All those who have died, especially those who are dear to us, our brothers, our sisters, our fathers and mothers, friends and relatives, Heavenly King, open today the kingdom of paradise for them. And we who have gathered here this morning, Lord, may our prayers, may our petitions, may our praise be a source of strength to us and increase the virtue you have given us so that we will serve you in this world, helping one another to become a better person. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through every night you have received the bread, we offer you fruit of the earth, and the walk of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine, we offer you fruit of the vine, and the work of human hands, it will become for us the spiritual drink. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord have satisfied us with your hand, for the praise of glory in His name. For our belief and the Lord of Jesus. Grant us, Lord, we pray, a sincere respect for your gifts, 
that through the purifying action of your grace, we may be cleansed by the very mysteries we serve through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is really right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love. His resurrection we confess we live in faith. And his coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so, with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we are clear. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is the God of the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like they do for us, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more, giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for me, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us. Save us. Provide our cross in the resurrection. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, her Pope, Oscar, Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Joseph, as spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have blessed you throughout the ages, we may marry to be goers to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, and found by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, and our death is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespasses against us. And let us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer to each other the sign of peace.
Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only beside the world and my soul shall be healed. Please be seated. The Son of Man has come to give his life as a ransom for many. Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, we pray that benefiting from participation in heavenly things, we may be held by what you give in this present age and prepare for the gifts that are eternal through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord is with you. And with your spirit. My Almighty God, continue to bless you, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. This Mass is ended. Let us go in peace to love and to serve. Thanks be to God. Have a very nice day. Thank you, Father.